Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome to my first ever subscriber, Wolfpack. Today, I am platooned with Fulsnot, and we are actually here on Redshire driving our uh, Matildas, the tier 4 British medium tanks. And we are basically moving off down to uh, the uh, the 9 0 line. Now, I was recently asked a question on uh, YouTube as to do I actually, do I actually uh, platoon with my subscribers? And up until that point, I had never even considered this. Um, so I decided, eh, why not? Uh, so first thing I did is contacted Full Snore and actually uh, decided we actually got into a platoon that very same day. And uh, this is one. Not, this is not our first match. Our first couple of matches were absolutely horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sucked hard the first couple of matches here, but uh, we got into our Matildas. Thought, yeah, let's tr let's uh, let's try a little bit of seal clubbing. So we chose the Matildas, pressed the battle button, and thankfully we're top tier. And uh, yeah, our uh, companion Hetzer just went over and absolutely blitzed that other guy, and uh, he's shouting for help. So me and uh, False Knot are now moving up. We are against a uh, a Covenanter and a AMX 40. <laughs> My shot there misses horribly. Oh, but, oh, hello! Take some shots against you. Puny light tank. Think you can hurt Matilda? Oh, and now me and Full Snore are absolutely spit roasting this guy. <laughs> oh, we are absolutely. Ch oh. I feel so sorry for these guys. When the Matilda itself is top tier, it is virtually indestructible. <laughs> it takes a massive chunk out of that uh, TD there. And I quickly finish off that, uh, that AMX-4. And uh, our Hetzer takes out the SA uh, tank destroyer. And now we just decide, okay, let's just move quickly around this way. Uh, see if we can spot uh, some camping tanks around this way, and if not, we'll give give a nice little uh, slow flanking maneuver. <laughs> At this point, I am on uh, one kill myself, and Full Snow is uh, beating me on uh, on two kills. Well, this this was a <laughs> this was a nice break in uh, in pace here, having actually having our asses kicked for the first <laughs> five matches of the day. But yes, and uh, oh, hello, we're coming across one of the first, the first one of the enemy uh, Matilda tanks here. Oh no, no, this one's an M3 Lee. Hello, and goodbye. And Falsnall picks up the kill there, taking a, sh come a couple of shots over at this Hetzo, but uh, yeah, amazing accuracy. Come on, come on, no. The AMX-4 uh, takes it out. So now we have control of the cap and now... Oh, there's that Matilda! Enemy is hit. Come on, come on, I want another kill! Enemy armor come on, come on, come on! No! No, full snow gets it again. Oh well. <laughs> Seems like he's carrying my loser ass right now. <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, the Matilda. Oh no, come on, come on! Damn you! Need to get some more damage. Yeah, but I'm really not in position to get any more shots on that guy. So, we're just going to have to carry on moving up. Full Snow's already moving ahead of me. We also have our uh, headset and our Covenant to further forward. So uh, that guy is definitely going to be dead before I get there. But right now, all we have left on the enemy team is that virtually dead Matilda, the M5A1, and a currently unspotted uh, T80. So the rest of our team is just going to carry on circling around, just closing them off, because right now it's just uh, a match of just mop-up. And there is the Matilda again. I'm going to get a shot off at it, but it goes low and I miss. And the Hetzer picks up the kill. And there is the uh, the steward. Uh, he's just <laughs> making a run for it, away from the two on top ones. Oh yeah, and there he is. That's the uh, the T80. That's up until now been up and on spotted. 
Oh, rock there, Chief. <laughs> Etsa so picks up another kill. My lad is having a good game. And now it's just a race to see who can kill that M5A1 the uh, the fastest. And I strongly uh, have the suspicion that it is not going to be us. Because we are so damn slow. But he's, he's holding on. And what's this? He seems to be making a break for it. He's taken out the uh, AMX 40. Oh, hello. They don't expect a turn of events. Full Snow puts a big shot into him. Oh, yes. And I just managed to get a last little hit on him. Goodbye. Good game. And now here we are on Windstorm, driving our T-54s, the uh, Tier 9 Russian medium tanks. Now, we start off heading to what I affectionately call Oh Shit Plaza, which got its name affectionately from the amount of times that I actually drove in there, thinking that nothing was going to be there, and then, Oh Shit, there's an enemy tank. <laughs> so yeah, here we are moving over towards that area. Yep, the plaza itself is not too far ahead. You can see it just now on the, uh, on the right here. Yep, no enemy tanks here, but usually I end up coming here from the opposite direction, so uh, <laughs> they usually get here way before I do. I thought I'd have a look around just to make sure, but no. Yeah, the plan here is to uh, wait a little bit just to uh, make sure nobody's coming around. Take a quick look, poke around the corner. Nobody there, but... Oh, hello! What have we here? We have an enemy IS and an IS-6. Quick poke around the corner again, just to make sure nobody's coming up on that side. So I'll move along. Quick turn. And uh, try and get some surprise side shots on these guys as they uh, if they push out. False Null moves up to si on the side of me. And you'll notice here that he's actually still using the, uh, not the stock gun, but it's uh, not far off. But, oh, hello! Damn it! Missed him. Now I'll switch over to False Null's uh, view now. There's me just missing that AMX. Oh, and he gets a nice strong hit into the side of the, uh, the IS-6. And another. You'll notice that he's only actually uh, loading premium shells, but then again, considering that uh, he's virtually got the stock cannon here, it's not really uh, surprising. But yeah, you know, somebody uh, takes out the the T thirty four, takes out the IS six, and uh, False Null looks over, sees a couple of heavies over there, and uh, gets a nice little shot into the uh, top of that AMX. Where he buggers off before he can move else. And here I am again, moving off down after this uh, IS-6. Got a good shot into him. Oh, wait a sec. Back up, back up, back up. There we go, he's gone. <laughs> and there we have artillery. Oh, damn it, got a big massive hit in the side by the rim job. And damages my engine and sets me on fire, but thankfully I have my uh, automatic fire extinguisher. And I put a big, as you see, I put a big shot into the artillery and somebody else killed him. And hello, you. I didn't like that. So I'm going to come. I'm going to come and show you what I do to people that shoot me. <laughs> so I'm going to wait down here a minute. Oh, artillery gets a nice hit into him. He fires, so I know he's going to be reloading, so I can move up and just sit and take him out easy. Flop, uh, switch back to uh, full snore now. And he's got a little bit to deal with right here. He's got an Indian Panzer uh, uh, tie and two Tiger 2s. But he's doing well, keeping his, a lot of his tank hidden. Taking a nice bounce there. But no, they're not cooperating now. They're deciding, oh, I'm not going to let you shoot at me. So he moves up over the frozen river and he gets uh, some nice shots over at the rear of this other Tiger too. 
was really kind of tunnel visioning on the other tanks in front of him. Come on, he just needs one more hit. And that's one Tiger 2 down. Shortly followed by the Indian Panthers, by the uh, T-34. Now you can see me just shooting up on the uh, the right hand side here. <laughs> Let's switch back to me. Hello Tiger 2. Surprise! It's me! Oh! No, no. Ah, ha, ha! There you go. Another shot into me. He's gone. Now I'll switch back over to full snores view and uh, skip ahead a little bit. And unfortunately our IS here is in a little bit of trouble by this SDI. The SDI is face hugging him and takes him out with no, no real trouble. But uh, full snores down here. Just firing shots up into his lower glaciers. And manages to take him out with only a small amount of uh, damage sustained to himself. So that's actually quite a nice little trade there. But now, as you can see, I am virtually dead myself over on the other side of these buildings. And I am actually wedged in between uh, the E75 and the IS. So I'm in a bit of a dodgy position. So Falsnot is uh, rushing to my aid, like the cavalry that he is. And he come, he's coming around the corner now. And uh, hello, Mr. E75. Nice solid hit into the side of him. Coming up. Oh no! <laughs> AMX AC48 takes the uh, takes the kill. All right, let's see if we can get the last one then, Mr. IS. Takes a nice hit from there. I guess ammo wrecked, but it doesn't really matter at this stage of the game. Repairs it. And the MX takes this kill as well, you greedy bastard. <laughs> that was a good game. But still a fun game and a brother's arms to boot. Right, well, I can see here that I actually managed to get 1,500 damage. Which uh, was slightly overshadowed by False Snow's 3,000 <laughs> damage there. But uh, yeah, this was actually quite fun. And I think I'm actually going to try uh, try doing this again at some future point, but quite not so much if they keep making me look so bad. But yeah, anyway, this has been Chaos Wolf. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do consider rating and uh, subscribing to the channel for more content. And uh, I'll see you around.